Well, hello, hello, hello. Um, the days of Lot are here. You know, it's not the first time I've said it, but uh, there's been a couple new articles that have came up. I'll have the links in the description. Um, it's just um, crazy. Days of Lot, same-sex households in the United States has just surpassed one million for the first time. Uh, it says one million for the first time, according to a recent released government data. There were more than 1.2 million in 2021. Uh, it could be even more. That was 540,000 in 2008. It is a 120 percent increase, and with them pushing it in the schools, it's only going to increase. And how many of them that are not yet old enough to be in marriage? Um, are identifying as this in school. So how much more? It says 710,000. It was a 59.2% same-sex couple households were married and 500,000, 41.7% were unmarried. Uh, there could be more. This is just on a basis on people that have filed together. There could be more that have not um, had this. You know, um, We also know that there was the huge... Um, Senate bill uh, passed not too long ago, just a, a couple days ago, where they are protecting same-sex marriage. Um, it's uh, it's only going to keep increasing, and we see other countries are having issues too. With the British Canadian government's push new radical transgender pronoun mandates. Um, this is uh, the Trudeau government Justice Ministry. Uh, David here asked his department staff to draft a directive that would force federal lawyers to offer their pronouns at the start of any proceeding. Um, I don't understand these. I, I would not say he, him. I am a male. I am a man, born a man. That's the way God made me. Um, I, I don't need all these other things that are being pushed, and either do we. Um, it should be a choice for someone if they want to be this way, not pushed on us that we use these pronouns. Um, see right here, it says, uh, my name is Justice Minister David Lamtetti. He, him, in case you were wondering. Um, it just continues, my friends. I'm going to put these links in the description. I'm not going to go very far and deep with this, but I will bring up this Bible verse. I will bring up Isaiah chapter 5, verse 20, because this is exactly, Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil, that put darkness for light and light for darkness, that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. We see this. We see that in Genesis, God created man and woman. He didn't create anything else. There will be a time we're seeing pastors in the church as well. Pastors in the church are allowing these things to happen. Pastors in the church are starting to support it on an all-time high. And this is blasphemy to the Word of God. So may God bless you guys. Remember, we fight from victory, not from defeat. And each day is one day closer to the return of our Lord and Savior, when many people will realize, and every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess, and they will realize that they have not been following the true Lord. They have created in their mind a carnal God that is not the God of the Bible, the God of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob. Um, this is crazy, but this is the world we live in. So much love to you all.